Check this out. This is this month's Math Counts mini problem. Now when I saw that this was going to be the problem this month, I called my friends at Math Counts and I said, Yo, you gotta let me take this one because that other guy that usually does your videos, he's going to make a total mess of this. See, I know this guy really well and I know exactly what he'd do. He'd just knock this problem off and then move on. Because that's what kind of guy he is. But not me. Not me. No, no. I'm going to knock this problem off and then I'm going to change this problem just a little bit and make it something way cooler. Because that's what kind of guy I am. Now I'm going to start off by knocking this problem off just the same way that other guy would do it. He'd start off like this. That's my staring in confusion face. I'm not very good at it. I'm not as good as he is because, well, he's got a lot more experience with it. But he'd stare at confusion for a little bit. I'd stare, stare, be kind of stuck. Well, you could at least make one interesting observation here. And that is, well, once we get one group of four distinct, that means different, positive integers, well, we can get others by just rearranging these numbers. You know, rearrange this like this, you get another one. So once you get one group that works, well, you can just think about how many ways can I arrange these four numbers. Well, they're different. You got four different things. How many different ways can you order them in a row? That's just four factorial. That's 24. So now, once we find one group, we don't have to list out all those 24 orders. We know there are 24 of them. So now we've made the problem a little bit easier. We just have to find how many different groups of four numbers, four different numbers, add up to 18. And once we've figured out how many of those groups there are, then we multiply by 24 to take care of all the different orders of the numbers in those groups. Now, how to count the number of groups there are. Uh, now I'm stuck. And that would be the guy be like, oh, I'm stuck, can't do anything smart. Uh, then he'd break out one of my favorite lines. If you can't do something smart, then do something stupid. I love it when he breaks out that strategy because he's so good at doing stupid stuff. Ah, oh, he's really good at it. And this is what he'd do. He'd say, okay, we're just going to list out the groups. We're just going to list out the groups of four distinct positive integers that add to 18. Now, if you're going to do something stupid, you better be organized about it. If you're going to do something smart, you should be organized about it too, but it gets even more important when you're doing something stupid. We're going to be nice and organized and finding the, the different groups of four different numbers that add up to 18. We'll start from the bottom. We'll start from 1 plus 2. The groups that start off 1 plus 2, and we'll go ahead and list out the ones we can find to start off 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6, plus 12 gets us up to 18. And then we can just pound through these cases nice and quick. 5 plus 10, 6 plus 9, 7 plus 8. And it's clear there are 5 that start off 1 plus 2. And we box that off. We're staying nice and organized. Then we're going to move on. Nice, clear-cut, organized casework. And that's the key to getting through casework problems is be nice and organized because then you can be sure that you've counted everything once and only once. You don't want to count anything twice and you don't want to miss anything. So by being nice and organized, which is what we're doing by starting from the bottom and working our way up, we can make sure we don't miss anything. 6 plus 7, that's 6 plus 8. Bet the other guy wouldn't have caught that. 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 8 is 18. We can't go up to 1 plus 3 plus 7 because then we'll have 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus 7. Distinct means different. All right, moving on to 1 plus 4. And then we go to 5, and then we add 8. 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7. And no more. Can't go any more with 1 plus 4. That gives us two more right there. And then we'll start off with 1 plus 5. 1 plus 5 plus 6, that gives us 12 plus 6. Ah, you can't do that. Distinct means different. I know all about different. There are none in this case. So we can't get any more starting with 1. We're going to move on to 2. We're going to start off with 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 9 plus 5 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7. We got three more in this case. And we're moving on to 2 plus 4 plus 5, that gives us 11. We need 7 more. We can't go up to 6 and 6. Distinct means different. We've got one more in this case. Now, if we start off, let's see, we go 2 plus 5 plus 6. That gives us a 13. We need another 5. Ah, I can't do that. 
And then now we can't do any more starting with 2, so we're going to move on to 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. That adds up to 18. That gives us another one, and clearly we can't get any more with 3 because we're going to get something that's larger than this, which means it'll be larger than 18. And if we tried starting off with 4, we go 4 plus 5 plus 6. We're already at 15 when we add on a 7. We're way past 18. So look at our nice organized casework here. We took care of the ones, things that start with one, and the things that start with two, thing that starts with three. We're just looking at the increasing groups of numbers. So we know that we've got everything exactly once and only once. We haven't double counted anything. Five plus three plus two plus three plus one plus one. That's 15 different groups here. And then we have to multiply by 24 because each one of these groups, the numbers can be ordered in four factorial. That's 24 ways. So we got 15 times 24 is 360 ways to take four distinct positive integers that add up to 18. See, this is where that other guy would stop. He'd be happy with this. He'd be like, hey, we did something stupid and we got the right answer. Not me. Not me. I'm going to change this problem just a little bit. Change this problem just a little bit. There's the problem again, and here's how we're going to change the problem. We're going to take out one word, just one word, and make it a completely different problem. We're going to take out distinct. It's different, but it's gone now. Now we just have four positive integers add up to 18. So we can go 2 plus 2 plus 7 plus 7. We can put that in this group. can't put it in the other one. So how are we going to tackle this problem? Now I'm going to start off just like that other guy would. I'm going to start off just like he would. I'm going to do something stupid, right? We're going to be nice and organized. We're going to do some casework. Four numbers that add to 18. And once again, we'll start off low, work our way up. We'll go 1 plus 3 numbers that add to 17. Next case, of course, is 2 plus 3 numbers that add to 16. And then on and on down the line, 3 plus 3 numbers that add to 15, da 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 We keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And eventually, we're going to get down here at the end. We're going to have 15 plus 3 numbers that add to 3. That one's pretty easy. That's 1 plus 1 plus 1. Even the other guy would figure that one out. There's only one in this case. But we've got 15 cases. It's going to take a long time. Let's take a look at this first case right here, just to get an idea of how long it will take. Take this first case, three numbers, add to 17. All right, and be nice and organized again. We're going to break this one down into cases. And it's starting to look like we're going to be here all day. 1 plus 2 numbers that add to 16. Well, at least that's pretty easy, right? You can go 1 and 15, 2 and 14, 3 and 13, and so on. You know, there are 15 different numbers you can pick for your first number. You can pick anything from 1 to 15. Then you automatically have the second number. So there are 15 in this list. That's not too bad. And then you have 2 plus 2 numbers that add to 15. Now once again, this is a pretty easy list to count. You can take anything from 1 to 14 as the first number and you automatically have the second number, so there's 14 ways to do this. And now you see where this is going. We start off with 3 plus da 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 da, -da. there's going to be 13 of those. 4 plus da 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 da, -da. there's going to be 12 of those. And so on down the line. This will keep on going, then you'll have 4, then you'll have 3, then you'll have 2, then you'll have 1. So the Number of ways you can get three numbers to add up to 17 is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way up to 15. And that just gets you that number right there. And then you got to do it again for 16. Right there, three numbers that add to 16. Of course, that'll be add 1 all the way up to 14 and so on and so That's going to take forever. So we're going to work from the bottom instead. Start working from the bottom. Maybe we'll see a pattern. Maybe you already see the pattern. That's awesome. But let's start working from the bottom. 14 plus 3 numbers that add to 4. Doing something stupid can be a lot of work. All right, 3 numbers that add to 4. 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2. There's three groups right there. Let's try 13 plus 3 numbers that add to 5. All right, 3 numbers that add to 5. 3, 1, 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2. There are six of those. Now, 12 plus 3 numbers add to 6. 3 numbers that add to 6. Let's see, we got 
four one 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 four one 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 four and you got three two and one there are three factorial six ways to order those three numbers so that's nine total and then there's two plus two plus two that gives us ten ways to do this now maybe you recognize these numbers all right, you can see is one, one plus two is three, one plus two plus three is six, one plus two plus three plus four is ten. Or maybe you recognize these numbers from Pascal's triangle. Now, I would hope that the other guy would at least see this. He'd see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and he'd start thinking of this diagonal of Pascal's triangle. Once you start to see that one, three, six, ten, you start thinking of this diagonal right here. And you start thinking maybe all these numbers come up on nice, neat diagonals in Pascal's triangle. Take a look back here again. There's one, two, three, four, all the way up to 15. That was one diagonal. Here's another one, three, six, ten. One, three, six, ten, right along that diagonal. What's going on here? And this is where that other guy would really get stuck. You know why? Because his imaginary friend can't help him with this, because Harvey only knows geometry. He needs me for this. Because you see, I like to count. And people who like to count, when they look at Pascal's triangle, they don't see this. This is not what we see when we think Pascal's triangle. This is what we see. We see these binomial coefficients. We see 0 choose 0 at the top. 1 choose 0, 1 choose 1, 2 choose 0. This is the way I see Pascal's triangle. Now, if you've never seen this stuff before, you got to go talk to your teacher and say, hey, show me the good stuff because this is some good stuff. This is Pascal's triangle right here. And this diagonal right there. That's these numbers right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's these right here. That's the numbers. Different numbers of where you get two numbers to add up to something right there. Two numbers that add up to two. There are two ways to get two numbers to add up to three, two numbers to add up to four, two numbers to add up to five, two numbers to add up to six. And then we went along this diagonal right here. That was these numbers. 1, 3, 6, 10. 1, 3, 6, 10 number of different ways. You have three numbers that add up to something. Three numbers that add up to three. Three numbers that add up to four. Right along this diagonal. There's two choose two ways to get three numbers to add up to three. There are three choose two ways to get three numbers to add up to four. Three numbers to add up to five. And so on. That's right along this diagonal. So here's the diagonal for all the ways you have two numbers to add up to something. Here's a diagonal for all the ways you have three numbers to add up to something. So we know where to go looking for four numbers that add up to something. That's right along this diagonal here. Four numbers that add up to four. Four numbers that add up to five. Four numbers that add up to six. Well, there are five choose three ways to get four numbers to add up to six. There are six choose three ways to get four numbers that add up to seven. Well, we want four numbers that add up to 18. There's probably 17 choose three of them. This looks like a pretty good guess. We don't like guessing, we like knowing. Why are there 17 choose 3 groups of 4 numbers that add up to 18? We've got to find some way to think about this problem where we'll have 17 things of which we have to choose 3. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to start off with these pretty dots. Now each one of these rows has 18 dots. And if you don't trust me, you can pause the video and count them. Or you can just stop listening to me and count them while I'm talking. Look at this first row. There's 18 dots. What is there 17 of? There are 17 spaces between the dots. Well, let's choose three, because we think 17 choose three is the answer. I'm going to choose three. I'm going to choose these three. And look at that. Right over here, four dots. Right there, four dots. Right there, one dot. Over here, there's nine. 4 plus 4 plus 1 plus 9. Add these four numbers, and of course you get 18. There are 18 dots up there. Let's try it again. We'll put it there, there, and there. That's where I choose. I chose those three blanks to put bars in out of these 17. One dot over there, five dots there, five dots there, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots there. One plus five plus five plus seven, that's 18, because there are 18 dots. All right. We're going to do this two more times, make sure I'm not doing anything too silly. Let's see, we got three and four. That's seven dots there, four dots there, one dot there, six dots out here. And sure enough, there are still 18 dots. One more time. There, there, there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots there, two dots there, three dots there, and still six dots out there. Seven plus two plus three plus six, still 
Well, 18, and now you see the picture. Any different way, all the different ways we can choose three places out of these 17 to stick in bars. For each one of those, we get one of these sums that adds up to 18. And we can go the other way. We can start with the sum, 7, 2, 3, 6, and put the bars in to make the sum. So for each of the 17, choose three ways. I can stick bars in here. I can get one of those groups of four numbers that add up to 18. So the answer to my original problem here, number of ways to pick four positive integers that add up to 18 is 17. Choose 3. 17 times 16 times 15 over 3 times 2 times 1. There's a 5 up here and an 8. 5 times 8 is 40 and 40 times 17 is 680. And the moral of the story here is if you're too lazy to do something stupid, then do something smart.